ಸಮಚರಣ ಸರೋಜ ಸಮಚರಣ ಸರೋಜ ಸಾಂದ್ರ ನೀಲಾಂಬುದಾಭ ಜಖನ ನಿಹಿತ ಪಾಣಿ ಮಂಡನ ಮಂಡನ ತರುಣ ತುಲಸಿ ಮಾಲಾ ಕಂಥರಂ ಕಂಚನೇತ್ರ ಸದಯ ಧವಲ ಹಾಸೌ ವಿಟ್ಟಲನ್ ಚಿಂತಯ ವಿಟ್ಟಲನ್ ಚಿಂತಯ ವರ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಒನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಡೇ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಸಿಂಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೆತ್ ಇನ್ ಯಾದವಾಸ್ ನೋ ಇನ್ ದ ಡೆಸ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ರೇಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ he himself invited many sages including narada near him and asked them to definitely leave that city of dwaraga 315 the lord planned in this way to deprive the city of the vicinity of saints and sages because he knew that when such saints go away from a place a series of calamities start because he wanted that the yadavas should be destroyed 316 the lord himself and no other knew that wherever the saints are living the calamities cannot enter at all 317 as the lord shri krishna knew that where the real saints reside even the birth and death cycle does not dare to come he wanted that a curse by brahmins must fall on the yadavas 318 knowing that as soon as the saints go away disaster strikes the lord bade the sages to go out of dwaraka 319 anyway the sages had planned to go to their own ashrams but the wise krishna put forward the pretext of visiting sacred places he sent them to pindaraka 320 shri shuga said please listen to the names of the saints whom even death was afraid of who were sent to pindaraga vishwamitro sitah kanvah durvasadhum bhugurangirah kashyapo vama devotrihi vasishtho naradadayah meaning of the words vishwamitra asida kanva ದುರ್ವಾಸ ಭೃಗು ಅಂಗಿರ ಕಶ್ಯಪ ವಾಮದೇವ ಅತ್ರಿ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ನಾರದ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ತ್ರೀ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಸೇಜಸ್ ಹುಮ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸಲ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಹುವರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಪರ್ಸಾನಿಫೈಡ್ ಬೈ ಯೋಗ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹುವರ್ ಬ್ರಿಲಿಯನ್ ಬೈ ಲೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೆನೆನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ಪಿಂಟಾರಕ ತ್ರೀ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ಹು ವಾಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ powerful sage because of his invention of gayatri mantra and was able to create a new universe and who was very insistent about his demands started to go without delay 323 asida the sage who lived in an air conditioned ashram and by whose name the pairs of opposites run away also started to go 324 kanva who placed the sun god and sitting in the car of horse of sun's chariot presided all the way thus also went 325 durvasa who was voracious and also famous for his complete avoidance of food also started to go 326 brugu the sign of whose kick is still born on his own chest as a piece of decoration by the lord shri krishna also began to go 327 angira who is the most intelligent in the whole universe and whose son brihaspadi is the teacher of gods also started 328 kashyapa who is the father of gods human beings and angels and after whom the universe is called kashyapian universe also got up to leave dwaraka 329 the sage vamadeva who is much honored among the liberated men 
and who is praised in the Vedas also started to go to Pindaraga. 3.30 The greatness of Atri is surprisingly wonderful because all the three gods became his son as Datta to whom great yogis pay homage. Great is the name of Anasuya, his mother. 3.31 That sage Atri who was the highest in rank among the sages and very eager to obey the instructions of the Lord Sri Krishna also started her readily. 3.32 Vasishta, who was the Sadguru of Sri Ram and was great in his knowledge of the supreme reality and whose robe was more brilliant than the sun. 3.33 that Vasishta, the great sage, abided by the suggestion of Sri Krishna and started to go to Pindaraga by leaving Dwaraga immediately. 334. Similarly, the divine sage Narada, whose knowledge was past, was always in a state of great bliss and was eager to be interested in singing to the glory of the Lord Sri Krishna. 335. Took his veena, held it on his own shoulders and singing the songs about Brahman got up and started walking while dancing in the spiritual ecstasy. 336. Thus all the great sages and many more great monks taking with them their kith and kin and also their disciples gathered in many numbers at the place called Pindaraga. 337. Thus, those who were capable of cursing, withdrawing their curse, and giving blessings, assembled at Pindaraka, and naturally began to talk among themselves, adoring the Lord and his majestic nature. 338. The scheming Krishna arranged such a situation among his own offsprings by indirectly instigating them to ridicule the great sages so that the whole race would be destroyed. 3.39. Insulting Brahmins, ridiculing them and criticizing them amounts to their harassment and when that is perpetrated, it is bound to result in the destruction of the race. 3.40. The rage of Brahmins is so dangerous that no race, that has, that no race has any power to withstand it. What of such a thing? Even the testicles of Lord Shiva had fallen and all the riches of Indra, the king of gods, were drowned in the sea. 341. The anger of a Brahmin was so powerful that the whole sea was turned into a salty one by Agasti. 342. On this earth, a real Brahmin is the Brahma and his word is final to be followed without questioning. And in order to prove this, the Lord Sri Krishna engineered the annihilation of his own race. Meaning of the verse, the young sons of Yadus went to the sages in the wake of their play and approaching them asked with false humility but inner sullenness. 343. All the younger sons of Yadavas were playing with ball. They threw the ball up, caught it in their hands and again were throwing the ball on their playmates who tried to avoid it. 344. Thus playing various games, they came to Pindaraga. They were very arrogant because of their riches, very sullen and uncontrolled. 345. They thought among themselves, here are many sages who know the past and the future, and people say that they say become what they say becomes true. But we will definitely deceive them. 346. Because if there is a thing quite impossible. How can it be possible by their saying so? Thus the sons of Yadavas played a great mischief with the great sages. 
ಸೇವೇಶಯಿತ್ವಾ ಸ್ತ್ರೀವೇಶೈ ಸಾಂಬನ್ ಜಾಂಬವತಿ ಸುತ ಏಷಾ ಪೃಚ್ಛತಿ ವೋ ವಿಪ್ರಾಹ ಅಂತರ್ವತ್ನ ಸಿತೇ ಕ್ಷಣ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅಟೈರ್ಡ್ ಸಾಂಬಾ ದ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಾಂಬವತಿ ವಿತ್ ಕ್ಲೋತ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ವುಮನ್ ದೇ ಸೆಟ್ ಓ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಶಿ ವಿತ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಆಯ್ಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆಂಟ್ ವಿಶಸ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಯು ತ್ರೀ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ದೇ ವರ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಪಫ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ರಾಸ್ಪೆರಿಟಿ ಓವರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಬೌ ದೇ ರಿಸಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಕನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಸಾಂಬಾ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕ್ಲೋತ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವುಮನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ he was dark and handsome with lustrous eyes and the female attire looked good upon them he was also expert in acting and easily affected the shyness the modesty and the attractive glances like a woman 349 he had put kajal in his eyes he moved his eyes in such a way that the onlooker would be enchanted he was having a delicate and beautiful build and he began to show off with a peculiar catwalk 350 other mischievous boys tied rags of cloth upon his belly so that he would appear to be a pregnant woman 351 he was walking slowly putting his hands on the shoulders of his companions trying to keep the bulge still and taking rest at every step they saw him like this 352 samba like a modest lady stood at a discreet distance from them the young yadavas in a group approached the sages and prostrated before them 353 i am explaining the half of the verse again to keep in touch with the context 354 with an intention to play pranks young yadavas walk round the sages respectfully touched their feet and said we have come to have the benefit of seeing you personally 355 thus though they were not humble they showed outwardly their modesty and stood there with folded hands and requested thus 356 sirs the young lady who is standing yonder has great faith in whatever you say she is pregnant and the term is nearly complete but she is very shy to ask you a self prashtum vilajjati sakshat prabhuta mogha darshanah prasoshyam ti putra kama kim svit sanjana ishyate meaning of the verse she is shy to ask directly to you or she is of unfailing speech please tell she desires to have a son will she give birth to a son 357 as she is not bold enough to request you personally she is asking through us 358 you are really truthful capable of seeing the reality your word never proves to be false which even the gods hari and hara obey all of you are very generous in regard to knowledge 359 this pregnant lady is therefore asking you most humbly about what child she will get she desires to have a son 360 in this way with false devotion they stood humbly with folded hands they were liking what to see they were indulging in and they got the fruits according to their feelings 361 knowing their falsehood the sage narada actually began dancing gladly he said to himself the death of yadavas is now very near 362 when the ants get wings their death is quite near similarly when people harass brahmins the destruction of the race is at hand 363 though a brahmin may be abusing with filthy language one should bow before him with great respect 
Though a Brahmin may come to beat or kill, one should bow before him. 364. To harass Brahmins is like taking poison. Poison kills only the man who takes it, but by harassment of Brahmins, the whole race is destroyed. 365. One should understand that a Brahmin may be clever or stupid, but he is the embodied Brahman on the earth, and if somebody starts to harass him, he is sure to see his whole race destroyed. Evam pranabdha munayaha tanu chukkupita andrupa janaishyati vo mandaha musalam kulanashanam Meaning of the verse, O king, the sages were very much angry by this mischievous insult and said to them, O fools, she will deliver a pastor which will be the destruction of your race. 366. O king, that is Parikshit, listen, in this way the younger Yadavas were having the death wind in them and they tried to play mischief on the sages. 367. The great sages, knowing their deceit, got very angry and threw their words like lightning on them. 368. They uttered the curse, O young Yadavas, the child born of this will be the death of your race. How unfortunate you are. You shall get a pastor as a child. It will be having pure iron. Shall I stop? Yeah. Shall I continue? Yeah. Yes. Meaning of the verse. Hearing this, they were much terrified. Immediately, they bought the belly of Samba and there saw the big pastel destined to destroy their race. 369. Hearing the sentence of the curse, the sons of Yadavas were very much afraid and hurriedly removed the clothes wrapped around the belly of Samba and looked. 370. They saw the iron pastel and they were utterly frightened. 371. The intention of the Lord Sri Krishna to destroy the Yadavas, which was very strong, thus became the iron pastel by the prophecy of the sages. 372. Whatever the Brahmin said was not disregarded by Sri Krishna. He proved every word uttered by these Brahmins as true. 373. Seeing the anger of the great sages, and hearing the curse of destruction of the race, the young Yadavas were greatly affected by fear. Kim Kritam Manda Bhagya Irnaha Kim Vadishyanti no Janaha Iti Vivalita Gehan Adaya Musalaya Yuho. Meaning of the verse. They said among themselves, Oh, what have we done? How bad is our fate? What will people say to us? So, being worried, they took that big pastel and went home. 374 uh, They said, We are really ill-fated. We are unfortunate. How foolishly, by our deceitful mischief, we have brought upon us the wrath of the sages and have ourselves uh, become the cause of our own genocide. 375. What will the citizen say to us? Why at all did we go to harass the Brahmins? They will blame us. So thinking all of them took that pastel and with a totally dejected mood they went home. <laughs> Sarvayadavasam 
meaning of the verse. Taking that pastor and with their faces down, with all luster gone, they went to the conference of all the Yadavas and in their presence told everything to the king of Grasena. 376. In the conference was seated Vasudeva, Ugrasena, Balarama, Aniruddha, Pratyumna, all the great Yadavas, but only the Lord Sri Krishna was not there. We can stop over right. here for today. Yeah. 376, we can uh, pause. I don't know. Anybody has any thoughts to share? Wherever that pastel, pastel has come, we should take it as pestle, mortar and pestle, the one which grounds oh, things. There's a mortar so, and there's oh. a pestle that grounds. So oh, the, yeah, yeah. there are so many times uh, we will have the spelling uh, mistake. So there are typos over here, uh, like last time also, the pestle. So, the spelling same? P -E uh, no, P -P yeah, P-E-S-T-L-E. Now it is P-A-S-T-E-L, ah. right? So P-E-S-T. Oh, yeah. Anyone yeah. has any thoughts to share? The Lord has decided. So we get over here a thought line that whatever actions that we are doing somewhere, it is propitiated by the Lord as he wants. So the Dwaraka has to submerge, right? But where the saints are there, there is no calamity. So how Lord has moved them out and how all each saint's name that has been taken today, see their powers and their prowess. And see the durbuddhi of these Yadavas to impose like a lady and see the power of the Brahmins when they curse. Even the bundle of cloth that came just tried to make fun of the Brahmins uh, that... Um, but it has turned into an iron. Now we will come to know what happens to that pestle, the iron pestle, what happens. We will read some more verses tomorrow from 377. Anybody with any thoughts to share? Varsha Ji, uh, I was just reading yesterday. I didn't attend, but I was reading what you had done. I mean, I feel um, this is his interpretation that it was the Lord who wanted uh, put the thought of, um, uh, you know, uh, making fun of the Brahmins into the mind of the Yadav so that they can die. Is it there like that in Bhagavat or is it his interpretation? Hmm. Very tough to say in that sense. But eventually when we become as a Vedantin students, we know from where the Lord plants the thoughts. It would See, to a, to a sadhu, he would not give, right? The Yadavas mm. have already committed so many uh, mistakes. Their arrogance is, uh, you know, going rooftop. Um, they have taken to drinking. Like, they are the ones who has defeated, won the war, now everything is over. So, when you have all the prosperity and you have got nothing more to do, you, you go waste. So this, to bring them on the track is going to be a tougher job probably Lord has thought. So only a naughtier of the child only can think of a naughtier thoughts, correct? A sattvic mind will not generate such thoughts. So even if the Lord is planting such a thought, it is where there is a potential of that seed to grow, there only it can be planted and there only it can. In a sadhu's mind, it cannot grow. So, each one, uh, eventually it would be the karma theory only. Yes. Why certain person, why certain people get certain thoughts and why certain people don't get the certain thoughts. And karta tharta yantra rudhani maya ya, we have seen, no, he is only going to be, who is going to take all this world. It is his will to construct the world. See, Brahmaji constructed only by Lord giving him the vision. Mm. So eventually it is even that. Yes. Even the destruction would be that Lord yes. would be behind who whatever they say. And but it is going to have that potential ground is already there for that kind of a thought to grow. Brahmaji was in his Shuddha Sattvic mood, he could create. 
Yadavas are in their neatest a form of their um, thought. So this kind of a thought could come there fine. And if Lord has decided that they can't, and he has to annihilate all the race, his own kula he has annihilated, yes. then it is, nobody can stop that, right? Who can stop? <laughs> Vashaji, in Mahabharat also they say it is because of the Gandhari's uh, Shapam, yes. the Yadavakula clan. Yes. So every, see, in the law of karma, there are so many strings attached to so many things and may not be even of that particular yuga or at that moment, it could be of the, uh, with Janma also. So which seed fructifies, it's, it's beyond our thinking capacity to analyze that. And in a bigger picture, Lord will see that whose what desire has to be, you know, fulfilled and what desire one has to, it's it's amazing and it's a very complex thing to understand. So at our level, we'll have to just yes. leave it at the Lord. <laughs> I mean, in what yoga Jiva has to be born also is decided, I mean, it may not be immediately in the same so, Chana and Kaudal and those two, to get our this Manusha Yuri, to what all we have gone and come, we do not know. So, what what has fructified? And so, if Lord has decided the other was, race has to be annihilated, so now all this is happening. We will see the story gets very interesting what all they did. So, Krishna is not there deliberately over there in the scene. <laughs> okay. Any more thoughts? Then, Dada Krishnanji, could you please conclude the session? Yeah. Okay. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om Sri Krishna Arpanamastu Hari Om